What's up YouTube, Metro Hero 2012 here. I'm sorry for the poor mic quality. I'll be changing this before next episode, hopefully. Um, I'm currently working on moving my office, so that's the reason for the portable mic. So this is gonna be pretty bad audio for the first episode, but I promise you quality will get better. I'll do a face cam, better audio. Promise, promise, promise it's coming, but here we go. Madden 20 finally got it on August 2nd. I didn't pay extra for the get it early because I didn't want to pay an extra $40 or $20 to get it eight days or three days early so yeah August 2nd got the game let's do Detroit Lions rebuild I think this one's gonna be fun just because the Lions have been really really bad in the NFC North for a really long time and I kind of just want to take them over and see if we can make them a decent team see if we can make them decent before Matthew Stafford retires or find our next quarterback and do more of a long-term rebuild but I want to Duke a somewhat realistic rebuild series there's some trades and free agent signings that are not like super realistic so I, I, I essentially what I mean by realistic is I'm not going out and trading for the absolute stars if there's a free agent that makes sense I'll go sign him if there's some trades that make sense and it's not an absolute superstar in the league I'll go do that as well I'm trying to improve the team I'm taking over as GM so I'm allowed to make some trades um, it might be for some people that other teams really like so it might seem realistic or unrealistic, but let's just go ahead with this. I think the Detroit Lions are going to be a fun team to do. If you guys have any other suggestions, let me know, but we'll just jump right into it as we're making some signings here. Um, some practice squad players from the Eagles. So Jordan Mailata, he is a left tackle, only 55 overall, but star development. So I decided to sign him. He's below 60 overall, but we'll see what we can do here. Also signed John Franklin, traded a backup right guard for Ronald Jones to be our secondary back to Carrion Johnson. I'm pretty excited about that move just in case Carrion gets hurt. I really like Ronald Jones. I think he can have a breakout campaign, but he's still young yet, so let's take a risk on him. Flipping through the settings here, this is what we've got. I made a couple other free agency signings and maybe a couple other trades as well that you might not have seen. I tried to get everything in there though, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into week one against the Arizona Cardinals. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Murray, welcome to the NFL. It's the coach. You're tuned into week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, Cardinal fans will see the debut of their dynamic new quarterback, number one overall pick, Kyler Murray, as the Cardinals and new coach Cliff Kingsbury play host to the Detroit Lions. I'll be back at halftime with a look at the early games, but let's get you out to the desert. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with Matthew Stafford and the Detroit Lions. So happy to be with you, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. And we thought it would never get here, but here we are back together. It's opening weekend of the 100th season in the NFL. So much football to talk about. That's our main focus. But how about how much happened in the offseason? Rules changes. Overtime rules were discussed in a big way. Some superstars changed addresses. There's a whole lot to talk about in the NFL in addition to this game we're getting ready to watch. center Charles their quarterback and what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice first drive of the game here for the Cardinals let's see what they can do with Kyler Murray at the helm dropping back rolls out to the side breaks free but is not enough to get the first down about 12 yards in the carry and the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten Chandler Jones, a former All-Pro, in on the tackle. 
And we look now at the Lions offense. Running back Kerryon Johnson was drafted out of Auburn in the second round. Now the Lions have the ball. Matthew Stafford drops back to pass, gets it out to Kenny Galladay. Looks like he's got room to run to the end zone, but then the safety. Leaf Swearinger comes up, makes us change our plans a bit there. A little bit unfortunate. I thought we were going to be able to take that one to the house, but still a really nice play. Stafford audibling at the line. Finds his man Hawkinson. Nobody's covering him. He's going for a huge gain. Tries a SIF arm there. Even more yards. What a nice play from Stafford to Hawkinson, the rookie tight end. Each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That's a and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. From 17 yards out. And the Lions are going to take the first quarter lead. After the Lions scored, Cardinals with the ball, Kyler Murray drops back to pass, has plenty of time in the pocket, decides to drop back even further, is scrambling again, and he's going to get more yards, juking out our defender really bad. This seems to be the only way they can really move the ball this game. As you'll see, a lot of their highlights are just Kyler Murray scrambling, which is really good. It means that our coverage is good. It means that our rush is pretty good. We're making him run out of the pocket and scramble as Jonathan Allen gets a sack there. He's one of the guys we traded for. Sorry, I didn't get the video of that. I tried to. It got broken. Not sure exactly what happened there, but I was unable to record all of the trades. Jonathan Allen is one guy I traded for. I'll have to do a trade review in episode two so I can show you all the players I traded for. Matthew Stafford throwing it on a dime. The sideline for DeAnthony Thomas, one of the guys we signed in free agency, looking for him to be a big player in the slot. I like his speed and agility. Here we go with Carrion Johnson. He's just a beast, and I'm really excited to do this rebuild with him. Only 22 years old out of Auburn, and he's a really good runner in this game. And there we go, Stafford to Hawkinson. Very first touchdown in the NFL for TJ Hawkinson. And that's the second touchdown of the game for the Lions. It's pretty good there, Hawkinson. He ends up having himself a pretty good game, as you'll see later. Um, I do like throwing to the tight end, so I'm excited to see how big Hawkinson can get. As Kyler Murray delivers the ball to David Johnson, and I'm just terrible at hit sticks. I'm going to need to get better at them. Um, I didn't really use them in other games, um, and now Madden 20, you can tell I'm very bad at it. There's a couple of instances where I just completely whiff. We'll have to get a little bit better at that, but yeah, the Cardinals moving the ball up again. Can't really get any yards. And then I believe third down there, Stafford takes a sack, so we're unable to do anything with that one, unfortunately. Still up 14-0, though. We're going to try to carry this lead into the second half. The defense needs to hold as Johnson is running through people. What a run, getting all the way inside the 10-yard line before Darius Slay can take him down. What a run by David Johnson. Now within the 10-yard line, the Cardinals are going to try to score. As the play breaks down, immediately the Lions get in the backfield to take down David Johnson. Cardinals ended up having to settle for a field goal there. Now 14 to 3. Let's see if the Lions can increase their lead here. Stafford dropping back in the pocket. Finds Hawkinson open again. Delivers a beautiful precision pass, and Hawkinson is able to adjust, turn around, grab the ball. Third reception of the day. And he is not stopping there, trust me. Stafford back to pass again. Finds Hawkinson again. He's just getting on a roll here. Too bad I don't have rack him up for Hawkinson. Maybe he'll get that in a little bit. Stafford now in the pocket again, finds Carrion over the middle, wide open, gets it all the way inside the five to about the one yard line. He's stopped there, so we're going to try to punch it in here. First and goal, Stafford finds Hawkinson again, the second touchdown of the game for the rookie tight end. Crazy start to his career, already two touchdowns, but he's just finding himself getting open. Here we have a nice user pick by me. I slowed it down a little bit for you. I was pretty excited about it. Um, my linebacker, I kind of misplayed the play a bit, um, and then Kyler Murray sort of airmailed the ball there, so dropped back, user picked it. I was pretty happy about it. Now Stafford can't get the pass off as he is brought down hard there. Cardinals got the ball again now down 21 to 3, trying to make something happen. Gets it over the middle to Larry Fitzgerald, who does get injured. You hate to see that. Larry Legend going down at midfield. Now Kyler Murray in the pocket from the Cardinal throws it, and Darius Slay is there to pick it off. Can he take it anywhere? No! Looks like the linebacker, I can't tell who exactly who that was, but one of the players got in his way and he could not get by him at all. But now the Lions have the ball in midfield, see if they can score anything before the half, and that was a third down. A calculated turnover. 
when one man launches a pigskin into the sky to the other team. I hope you guys enjoy the Pat McAfee commentary because I do have quite a few clips of him from audio from the game he did on the Lions, so hopefully you don't mind me playing a couple of those audio clips in this rebuild. Carrion is having himself a nice game as he's been pretty close or over 100 yards at this point already. Pretty crazy before it's even the fourth quarter. If I do keep this lead up, I am going to make some subs so that I make sure Carry On and Matt Stafford and Kenny Galladay don't get hurt going forward. So we'll see how this goes. But 21 to 3 right now. We end up getting another touchdown there. I wasn't recording at the right time, but there's Stafford to Hawkinson again. He was just wide open. I can't not throw it to him. The guy just gets open. Three touchdowns for the rookie. He's making a good case to be Offensive Player of the Week, and hopefully that can help his dev trade because it is still hidden. So I'm not sure if those are already decided. I'm not quite sure how Madden works, but if, if those can be improved, I think I am well on my way to making Hawkinson a really good development player. Murray sitting in the pocket now almost gets sacked, but gets the ball off there through the middle of the field, but it's definitely not enough for a first, and David Johnson is injured now. Lots of injuries. Carry on got hurt for us earlier in the game, but we were able to get him back, so it's just a minor injury. Starting to scare me though, I'm thinking about turning injuries down. Here we go yet again. Kyler Murray scrambling for about 20 yards. Seems to be a theme here. He can't really throw the ball in the air and they can't run much, but Kyler Murray scrambling is very dangerous. And the Cardinals get on the board with a touchdown there now at 10 points. 10 to 28. In the fourth quarter now. As we brought Tyree Jackson into the game, the man we traded for uh, from Buffalo. Again, one of those trades you couldn't see, so I'll have to review them all. But it wasn't just Tyree Jackson. We traded for somebody else too, but we were essentially just trading off some salary we didn't want to, and Buffalo was pretty interested in the player. So we decided to trade for Jackson. He probably won't even make the roster anyways, so I don't think it's super unrealistic. I just want to have him kind of as a project quarterback and see if Stafford gets hurt, then he can come in and hopefully play, but I really like the 6-7 frame, and he's pretty mobile too. He's pretty fast. Here we go, Tyree Jackson scrambling to the outside, delivers a beautiful ball there. I believe that's Marvin Jones on the sideline, tiptoes in, stay in. Another ball, oh, the Cardinal defender misplayed that one quite a bit, and it's a Marvin Jones touchdown. Probably was a mistake throw because he came up in coverage, but I'm still getting used to the, pre the run pass options. So. A little bit of a mistake there, got away with it, and ended up getting a 25-yard touchdown. Tyree Jackson on the board to Marvin Jones. Out of lines with the ball again, Tyree Jackson takes the handoff, scrambles out on the play action, looking for someone to throw it to, throws it across his body across the field, and Hawkinson with an amazing catch. No, not even Hawkinson. Jesse James? Let's see who that was. Sorry, guys. Tyree Jackson in the pocket over the middle. This time it's Hawkinson. But now this game is over. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man. So much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Detroit, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they go down to defeat here in the opener. All right, let's take a look at the stats here. Matthew Stafford had a really great game before we pulled him. Just didn't want him to get hurt, but he had 200 yards, three touchdowns. Got Tyree Jackson some playing time. Darion Johnson over 100 yards. There's Hawkinson, 10 catches, 100 yards. 140 yards and three touchdowns. All the other receivers did pretty well, too. I'm going to have to try to get them more involved, though, than Hawkinson. Hawkinson was pretty much receiving everything there, and all the other wide receivers were kind of having to share. Defensively had a good game, lots of tackles for... The middle linebacker we were using, the, the rookie, um, got a couple interceptions there, tackles for a loss and sacks, so really happy with the performance from the defense. Let's go ahead and get out of the stats and review some things in the main menu. Here's TJ Hawkinson here, we're looking at what to upgrade. I'm thinking of run blocking, just to make him a more well-rounded tight end. He's already a really good blocking tight end, but imagine him being like the best run blocking tight end in the league, how good that'll make him. 
So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna work on his run blocking. He's already a great receiver, so I think those stats will just come, those attributes will come over time. So I wanna kind of force him to be a good run blocker because that'll really help us um, in the offense we wanna run with carry on Johnson. Looking at the stats here, some of the news around the Lions organization just mentioning that we're winning. Hawkinson had a good game. Just peeked at the draft stories there quick. Nothing really much going on. And there it is. TJ Hawkinson, Offensive Player of the Week. Pretty good news for him. Excited to get on. It looks like Tyus Bowser is going to have a chance to increase his development rate because he had a pretty good game in the first game and now his next game he's hoping to do better. Here's the question I'll ask you. The Detroit Lions have a really bad field right now. Would you like me to rebuild the stadium or relocate the team? Let me know in the comments below and we'll be voting for next episode.